Hello everybody, welcome back to Commonwealth Picker. My name is Kevin and we are in my eBay cave, which is in my basement, and it's a little chilly today. You might find me with a jacket on in a few minutes in here, but I want to talk about what sold today, and I want to talk about some items that sold today that people don't typically look for. And, well, I shouldn't say that. More and more people are looking for some of these items today, but there's one in particular that a lot of people miss and they just don't think it sells until they've been doing it a while and they've picked a couple up and realized that some of them have quite a bit of value and we have a couple of those items in here today and hopefully by the end of the video you can add one more thing to your repertoire a lot of you resellers out there that have been doing this for a long time have been selling these items for a long time and one of them here most people wouldn't bother selling at all even if they knew it sold and i'll show you that here in a minute Overall, a pretty good day of sales. No sales, unfortunately, out of the Homeschool Hustler store. And of course, there's a few things. One thing got sent from a viewer and then a few in a man sales as well. And we'll mix it into, I think, the eight items that sold today out of the Commonwealth Picker store. And a couple of them for pretty good money. So let's take a look. I picked this item up in a video that's entitled Garage Sales and Pickers are a Match Made in Heaven or something like that. And this is actually, when I first saw it, I looked at it and I'm like, cigar box, Schrage cigar box. And I'm like, what is that thing? And I didn't know what it was. And then it said Cutlery Corp. And so I looked it up and I looked it up and I realized, hey, this thing is actually a pocket knife. And so it's a pocket knife and it's brand new in this, what looks like a cigar box, but it's got the plastic on it. And I asked him how much, and I think they wanted a dollar, maybe two for this. And there were two of them and they were identical. And I'm like, well, I'm gonna pick those up. And this sold for $30 plus shipping. And there were two of them. I think I paid, let's say I paid $2 a piece. So we're gonna end up making about 50 bucks on these two boxes, which is really, really nice. So that's not the item I was talking about, but that does apply. You know, a lot of times knives are things that people don't know a lot about, so they won't do any research on. And I have sold a few knives in my day for some pretty decent money, so I do think it's worth looking at. All right, this one is going out to Kevin, and Kevin, that is an awesome name, by the way. And he says, came across your videos a couple of months ago and have loved the information you have been putting out. I have been selling on Amazon since February 2019 and ready to move into eBay to sell my collection of old toys. I have, if you are ever in Hagerstown, Maryland, let me know. I had a buddy who used to play baseball with me from Hagerstown and you can stop by and give me some pointers on selling eBay. So, hey, if I'm ever up that way, maybe I'll put an announcement on there and I'll, I'll let you know. So I do appreciate it, Kevin. And I see this is your first feedback on eBay. So I do hope that you start selling on eBay and you keep giving us some updates on how it's going. And hey, another thing, you know, a lot of people out there just do eBay or they just do Amazon. A lot of people do both. I personally just do eBay. I have done Amazon and I probably will do Amazon in the future. I think it's good to diversify and to learn different platforms. But when you start doing eBay, would you do me a favor and put some comments down there and tell me what you think about the comparison? Now, I have a pretty good idea because I know a lot of people who do both and they, they sing the praises of Amazon and then they curse Amazon. And they sing the praises of eBay and then they curse eBay. So I'm just curious, after starting Amazon first and then going to eBay, what you think of the eBay platform after you start it. And I'd love to hear from you and you can send an email to my uh, email if you want to, commonwealthpicker at gmail.com. All right, and here's one of those items I'm talking about and it's perfume. And I picked this up at a sale a couple weeks ago. I don't think I've aired it yet, although it's possible. And this is Journey, which I think is a Mary Kay product. Let me look. It's a Mary Kay product. And this one happens to be full. And it sold for $39. I picked it up for 5 bucks, So it's not an amazing profit. But it's definitely a profit worth getting. Close to $30. Probably around $28 profit on that item right there. Which, in my opinion, is really, really good. Actually, it's a little less than that. I take it back. Because it was $30, $39 free shipping. So doing the math on that, let's say it's... Five dollars in fees. It cost me five dollars. There's ten dollars. It's going to cost. It's going to cost less than five, but we'll say it cost five. So I'm making about twenty-five dollars profit on that. So it's not amazing, but it's an easy twenty-five bucks for sure. So don't pass up perfume. At least take a look at it. Even the older bottles that aren't even full, take a look at them and see if any of them have any value. If you watch Matt at Part Time Pickers, he is like a pro at these guys. Every time I'm looking, he's finding something to sell and I find them too and I sell them and I've made some pretty good money on them 
But man, he seems to crush it out there on perfume. So at any rate, I like that one. Nice little $25 profit. And you know, that was at a sale that there were dozens of resellers at. I mean, I knew everybody there. All the resellers in Central Virginia were at that sale because it was the only one within 50 square miles. And that just sat there on the table and I picked it up. So if you know a lot of different categories, you can make money even if you're out there with 10, 20 other pickers at the same sale. All right, this one's going out to Christine. And Christine's, this is uh, Rocket City Treasures is the name of that store. I like that name. This guy is going into my eBay she shed. I'm looking, um, I'm a longtime hobby eBay seller and decided this fall to do this seriously and I am loving it. Thank you for inspiring us. And this is going out to Christine. Christine, thank you. And I'm glad we could do a little bit to inspire you in that. And hopefully this guy gives you some luck in reselling as well. And don't forget if you have an Instagram account, if you wouldn't mind taking a picture and hashtagging Commonwealth Picker and hashtagging in a man and I'll be able to check it out. I like looking at them. Here's a VHS that we got from the, oh, looks like we just sold something right here. A VHS that we got from the fill a bag for $5 sale. We call this sale the I Love Hot Moms sale because that's the shirt that the guy was wearing who sold us all these VHS. And we've been keeping track of this. This is not a horror movie, which a lot of those are. This is the Disney Black Hole one. And this is from 1999. So this is kind of a later generation. It's got an interesting looking clamshell for a Disney item and it uh, sold for ten dollars free shipping so it wasn't amazing but it was definitely worth selling we are in the pure profit on those vhs and i'll let you take a look at how much we've made off of that five dollar vhs buy and if you want to go back and look at that garage sale video if you haven't seen it i might if i can remember to put a link to it but if not it's the fill a bag for five dollar garage sale all right so the i love hot mom sale and this one sold it's a five dollar profit so $145 so far is what we've made off of this one. $5 purchase, and we're up to $145 so far. So we have $140 profit. That's the profit. That's not how much we've sold items for. This is the profit. So happy about that so far. We're going to make probably close to $250 to $300 off that one box of VHS. And there wasn't even that many in there. I want to give a quick thank you and a shout out again to Chris, the Patriot Picker. And if I can remember, I can link his channel below. We did a little interview. He interviewed me, actually. I went over to his place. He saw me on a video in the summertime, and we developed a little bit of a relationship. He was just getting started with eBay reselling. He texted me a few times, and we talked. And I thought one day that I was going to buy a few items from a reseller, and I was going to consign a few items from a reseller, and I was going to pass on the ones that I bought to him for a consignment. And I went over to his house and I interviewed him a little bit and talked about the experience of a new eBay reseller. That video is on Commonwealth Flipper if you wanna check that one out and maybe I can link it if I remember, but it's baseball season. So let me tell you, I'm hustling to get the videos edited, uploaded to YouTube and out of my class so I can get down the road to, to coach that baseball team. So, so no guarantees. But if you go over to the Commonwealth Flipper channel, you can find it. And then if you go to his channel, Patriot Picker, he did an interview of me that night at his house. And if you want to check that out, you can. But anyway, this is the second one of these that he sent us. This is an Inaman Nurses Scrub. This one looks like it's big and it's in good shape. This is a size large. And so, Chris, that was really, really nice of you. We do appreciate it. The other one, I think we're going to frame up and put it in the Commonwealth cabin. I'm not sure what we're going to do with this one. We may end up auctioning it off someday. We may end up giving it away. I'm not quite sure what we're going to do with it. But somewhere down the road, we're going to do something neat with it. So, Chris, we do appreciate it. All right, here's an item that I found at a garage sale, and it, it didn't look good. You know, it's one of those, sometimes I call them drive-bys. You look at them, and you're like, oh, do I really want to stop and get out of my car here? And I saw a bunch of clothing laying there, and that was about it. And I rolled down my window, and I said, how much for these? They said, clothes are a buck. So I got out, and I went and checked it out. So this is a neat little pair here. These are Lee Bell Bottoms. So you can see right here, see if I can do this without knocking something over. They're pretty wide flare at the bottom here. And they're in great condition. Got the little Lee tag on them. So they're pretty cool. And I bought them for a buck, and they sold for 30 sold for $29.88. So it was probably worth that, I think. You know, you buy something for a buck, you sell it for 30. This is gonna end up going 
padded flat rate probably. So, you know, we're going to end up making about $17 on these is, is my guess. So $17 on a pair of clothing is good. This is not from our 70s haul. So this is not going to be shared with Sony. But uh, it certainly looks like an item that would have come out of there for sure. This guy's going out to Scott, and Scott says, thank you so much for the great videos, have learned a lot, and we are thankful for the information that you share. So Scott, you're very welcome, and we hope you enjoy, and we hope he helps you with your sales. Appreciate it. All right, now here's the item I was talking about that most of you would pass right on by because you don't want to deal with it. And you know what? Tonight, I don't want to deal with it, <laughs> but that's okay. We're going to get it done. I already picked out a box, and it should actually be fairly easy. Matter of fact, I should be able to get this thing shipped and ready to go faster than I can do a VCR so it, it all just depends on having the right box so we have it and it sold for $28.81 plus shipping and we do calculated shipping on these obviously but we'll pick up lawn chairs they're not huge money but you know we'll end up making $20 on this and it's going to take me a grand total of about 25 minutes to take pictures list it and ship it so you know that's 50 bucks an hour it's worth it I'd say that it's only worth it if you have a place to store that kind of stuff. And fortunately for me right now, we have just enough space. But I usually won't buy. If I have three or four lawn chairs, I usually won't buy any more. All right, this one's going out to viewers. It's going out to Laura. And Laura writes, Hi, Kevin. Just wanted to let you know how much I love watching your channel. I have learned so much from you over the last few months. So I thought I would buy the infamous Fleet Inaman to put in my office and remind me to never give up. And uh, thanks so much for helping us out. So, hey, we appreciate it. And thanks for helping me out. I appreciate that. And I hope this guy brings you great reselling luck. And he is headed your way tomorrow. All right, here's an item that was also at a sale that had tons and tons of pickers at it. And this was like a half an hour in after everybody left. I found this one and one more, a dollar a piece. And they're Radio Shack high power bulk erasers for VHS and audio tapes. And so you basically... It says uh, high power video audio tape eraser. And this one sold for $17.81 plus shipping. So we paid a dollar, $17.81 plus shipping. So we're making, I don't know, maybe $13 to $14 a piece on them. And there were two of them. And this is probably going to be a candidate for pirate ship is my guess. It's kind of heavy, but it's really small. So we're going to spend not very much money shipping this thing out. And we have another one to go. So I'm pretty happy with that. You know, we're going to end up making close to $30 profit on those two and they were at the very end of a garage sale so that's awesome all right all the cost shirts aren't amazing this one isn't amazing i would pick them up if there's no stains on them and they're a good price but i wouldn't pay too much for them and this is a size four which translates i think to a small it's in pretty good condition it's really kind of a soft one everything is legit sometimes you got to really look at these and see sometimes they're faked often and uh, I picked this one up at a garage sale. I didn't pick it up at Goodwill, and I probably paid a dollar, maybe two for it. And it sold for $12.20 plus shipping. So I'm not getting rich on it, but it's something nice and easy to ship to add to the good sales today. So happy with that. All right, as always, thank you for joining us. And I'm hoping that in the next week or so, we're going to do at least do an episode. It won't be full on episode out there in the Commonwealth cabin, but we'll do something. Maybe we'll do one of the antique videos with my wife and we'll do that out there in the cabin. By the way, if you'd like to watch the antique booth videos that me and Blue Ridge Mama do, we do one a month and tell you what's sold out of our antique booths. And by the way, they're not really antique booths. They're kind of more like vintage booths or... Uh, almost flea market booths for that matter. At any rate, if you like those, those are now on the Commonwealth Flipper channel. We've already released one, and there's probably another one that's either come out or gonna come out really, really soon. So at any rate, hang around. There's always something interesting at the end of the video. I think we'll show a little clip of maybe Turner or one of the cats or dogs or something like that. Or maybe we'll put some shipping on it. We do put the shipping on these videos occasionally, but more often than not, we'll put those shipping videos over there on Commonwealth Flipper. Thank you all for joining us as always, and we hope you come back next time. See you tomorrow.